Mm, damn, Q. Maybe you did that. Q Lewis holding it down live from the 48205, man. Today is a special episode, though. Uh, shout out to the Black Spirits, uh, the spirit, <laughs> the taste of Black Spirits. Wait in the water. <laughs> Black Spirits. <laughs> in the water. <laughs> Going down this Friday, September 29th. Be sure to look into the description to see the uh, exact location and the actual time, all right, for the uh, for the 29th. So, we got uh, two special guests in the building, right? We got Birdie Brown. Now, we've done Birdie Brown before, um, but this is a different Birdie Brown, apparently, right? So, this is from Henderson's Spirits Group, okay. and we've got Birdie Brown playing hooch, and then we've got Birdie Brown uh, wheat whiskey, all right, so those are the two that we're going to do today. Again, these are two spirits that are always at the uh, Taste of Black Spirits event. So if you've seen uh, Alan Henderson, the uh, ex-NBA player, uh, this is his company's, uh, two of his company's expressions. So uh, what we want to start with is the wheat whiskey, um, the plain hooch I'm a little afraid of, but we're going to get to that in a moment. So let's go ahead and start here. Uh, we haven't opened these, so we're going to see what this cork sounds like this time. Um, um, real quick too though, I did just want to uh, to say that I think the story is the same, <laughs> even though the even though the spelling is different, because we've done a birdie brown before, so I think the story might be the same. But anyway, let's uh, let's get to the cork and see what that sounds like. So it's weird because we thought we had done this one already. I really did, and when when they asked about it, I was like, yeah, we did that, and I actually went and found the video, and I looked at the bottle, and then I looked at the the label on this. I'm like, it's it's different. So same they, name though. So they say, well, they spell it different. Yes, it's spelled differently. The first one we did was Bertie. Bertie, and this is Bertie. This is Bertie. <laughs> with a D. So it's a D. But it's the exact same story. Okay. Of the same woman in Montana who had her own, uh, Still, yeah. who had her own bar okay. and everything and had her own farm and grew her own. Everything. She also so, got burned up, right? Yeah, that, that's how she that's passed okay. away. That's okay, yeah. So, I, okay, I remember that. So that's not mentioned in the Henderson Spears group yeah. story, mm-hmm. but in the other one, uh, it is mentioned yeah. in that story. Because so, that was like the, that was the, the, the bootleggers right. editions and right. stuff. Yeah, I got you. All right, so same lady. Big ups to her. Yeah. All right, her falls D. for the court. Okay. Oh, that's fine. Right. Okay. Yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, I can deal with that one. Is that synthetic court? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. It's a nice cork though. It's a nice cork though, yeah. Let's see here. Let's see yeah, it was there. snug in there too. So. <laughs> Had to be. That's why That's why I popped like that. Right. Oh, you, oh, you got two? Uh, no, it's for our, our off camera guests. Oh, oh. I thought he was, thought he was double fisting. <laughs> I was like, oh, no, I'm not doing that. Not doing oh, that. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Not doing that. No, not yet. Like, <laughs> I know it's that type of Sunday, no. It ain't that kind of Sunday, no. Got a long road trip ahead. <laughs> All right. Now it says that it's a it's a wheat whiskey. Um, what does that mean to you guys? Like, obviously, I know that means the the mash is different, but like, what when they specify it as a wheat mix, like, what what does that make you guys think? That makes me think of Weller's, because Weller's is a is a wheat, very heavy wheated bourbon. Okay. Yeah. So most of your bourbons just uh, have strictly corn. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So when you add wheat into the mix, uh, you'll have a lower percentage of corn with a nice amount of wheat put into it. Right. And that's what they call it, a weeder. Gotcha. There's nothing more than just a different ingredient. That's all. On the nose, it doesn't, well, this is the lower, I, I didn't see uh, the, the proof on that. What was the proof on this? This one is 90. Okay. So 90. It's, it's 90. 90. And surprisingly, I don't smell a lot of alcohol off top. It's got a nice little bite for a 90 proof uh, bourbon, though. Yeah. So this is distilled from wheat, oats, and barley. Gotcha. Oats and barley. That's the first time I've heard of any of these oats. being having oats in them. Yeah. yeah. So that's different. Uh, 
I can't remember any. We usually look at the labels on these things, and we never see right. oats in anything. So that's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. And it's not a. I don't smell a. I smell a hint of of cocoa or maybe vanilla or something. Yeah, vanilla definitely. Yeah. I get a little bit of cocoa. I get some uh some cedar. You know what I mean? Okay. Like that, that cedar be. taste. Yeah. And then for it, for it to be three years old to have a wood smell to mm-hmm. it, we haven't even t- I haven't tasted it yet. I can smell the cedar, the, the wood. In oh. it. So that's pretty good for, for such you a young bird. You can definitely taste it. Got some yeah. nice legs. You can definitely taste it. You can taste the cedar in that wood. Yeah, it's got some nice legs on it too, though. Yeah. Especially, like you said, for being three years, yeah. three years old, it's not really that old. Nice little bite on the end. Not a long finish, but a long enough finish. Like for me, I know y'all like the Scotch finishes that <laughs> finish tomorrow. Like yeah. <laughs> you wake up in the morning and shit still finishes. You know, I, I don't need all that, but <laughs> trying to throw us some hints. Like all right, now, nah, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sure is getting tired right here. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's straight, man. Um, I like the little cocoa uh, 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 taste there. Mm-hmm. Get that cedar, and I, I get some kind of. I'm not sure. Maybe some kind of fruit. Apricot, maybe. It's it's something that's adding maybe a little some kind of apple it. or something. Maybe apple. I can I don't do know. That. And it, like at the end, like maybe after the finish, you can kind of taste the apple. It's something. Is it, I would say apple. I know you you mentioned uh, apricots before, and I haven't I haven't made that connection yet. Like well, I guess I haven't had enough apricots. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah that's there. Yeah, I know. So that's why I couldn't make that connection. What you think, angry person? Would like no, no, no. I agree with everything, but the, that <laughs> cocoa hit me on the back end. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. when you said cocoa at the beginning, I, I, hit, yeah, I'm I getting smelled it. The back end. Yeah, yeah, I smelled it. I'm and it because like cocoa and vanilla is like you know my two favorite sweeteners in uh, <laughs> when it comes to bourbon. So I always recognize those. I call it the best of both worlds. Yeah, for sure. Cocoa yeah. or vanilla. For it to be three years, it's not a mm-hmm. young tasting. No. Bourbon. Because normally I'd be, I would automatically, when something is young, yeah. forget it, I'm done. Don't even want to try it. Yeah. But and this it, does not have that taste to it. Yeah, it don't have so. that alcohol taste, like right. that strong alcohol taste, right. you know? Right, and that's the thing, too. Like, that's why I asked you what the proof was, because, like, when you off the nose, it smells like it could be 80 something. Mm-hmm. Like, it really, yeah. it really does. But um, even with it being 90, this is not a harsh 90, right? So. This is what I'm thinking too. Um, we all we often talk about the bourbons that kind of uh, get people transitioning. You find something That's else in there. Serious legs on it. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. The legs ain't no joke. They get to the wall. Yeah. Right. 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 Ain't no joke, boy. They go all the way up and down. to the wall. So I don't know where so, this conversation is going. So but. Every, every, <laughs> <laughs> long legs on that. <laughs> really sticking to the wall. <laughs> <laughs> Oh boy. This is nice though. And and normally too, I, I have to be honest with you. Um, sometimes when there's when there's a cedar taste to it, I normally don't like it. But I think there's a good combination between the cedar mm-hmm. and like the uh, the classic cocoa and vanilla that's kind of offsetting it. So now this was distilled in Montana. Okay. Mm-hmm. I think this is the first Montana expression I we think have. So, yeah. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. So the Henderson Group has they don't have their own distillery yet. Okay. But they do have someone they're contracted with in Montana who's, who's got okay. their distillery. They're, gotcha. Everything is made on their plot of land. Okay. So it's all they know exactly what field is coming out of. So that's so the weed and oats and everything is coming right. organic. It's coming from them. Okay. So that's a good thing. Yeah, that's kind of dope, though. Yeah. Yeah. That's what's up. I like it. All right, so we uh you got our initial analysis, man. So of course after the break we'll get back and give you our one to five black power fist ratings. Uh, that's it. I'm gonna sip a little bit more, and on the other side of the commercial we'll come back with our ratings, and then we go drink some more. <laughs> Check we'll out the commercial break. Two and two and two, right? <laughs> Visit the website right now, www.everybodylovesbbw. That's Spirits, Bourbon, Whiskey, the podcast. The Taste of Black Spirits presents the Cocktail Concierge Event. Get ready to indulge in a unique and exciting experience that celebrates the rich flavors of black spirits. It's going down Friday, September 29th from 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. at the elegant 525 West Lafayette Terrace Room in Detroit, Michigan. Welcome 
welcome back to another episode of the Beers, Bourbon, Whiskey Podcast. Thanks for hanging out through the commercial breaks. Of course, our whole gang is holding it down, man. I got Angry Principal and Bo in the building. And of course, man, myself, Q Lewis, holding it down live from the 48205. Let's get back to it, though. We're talking about Bourbon Brown. This time, we're, we're still talking about the wheat whiskey. Uh, if you was here before the commercial break, then of course, you know what our preliminary analysis was. So we're going to go ahead and give it a rating. So uh, Angry Principal, what's, what you thinking? Um, five. I don't remember the price point on this. Oh, that I don't remember. I don't remember the price yeah. point. But <laughs> simple Google Google search. Search. Yeah. Google search. So, yeah. it, depending on the price point, I'm going to put this in the three range. Okay. Uh, it's decent for 90 proof. Yep. Uh, it's yep. got a lot. It's definitely got a lot of flavors that you can try to work through, mm-hmm. which is rare for a young bourbon. Yeah. So I'm gonna give it a, a, a good three. Good. I would not mind having this in the rotation, putting it in a bar, and also giving it to people. For sure. Or even sipping. Now this is a winter one for me. Yeah. I would rather drink this during the winter than during the summer. Is it it's got because a heavier, of the cedar? Got a heavier feel to it. Yep. Gotcha. So, but I'm giving it three. Three. Okay, I can feel that. So I'm seeing the price point is anywhere from forty nine ninety nine up to about fifty eight bucks. Okay. Right? Okay, so taking the price point, if it's at the fifty eight, I'm dropping it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, just because I, I think there are better, there are other things that you can get at a lower price okay. and get the same thing out of it. Gotcha. But. Uh, if it's at the 49, 49. I'll leave it at the 3. Yeah. Like it. But if it's at the 58, nah, you got to Yeah, 58, because so. you, you had 60 bucks yeah. at that point. Right. Yeah, yeah you right. had $60 right. at that So point. I'm expecting 100 and up. That's what I was just going to say. At, at $60, I want right. 100 proof at Not least. Not a 90. Yeah. Now, it does have an age statement on mm-hmm. it, which most bourbons yeah. and whiskeys don't. Right. So, hey, I like putting up where, you know, put your money where your right, mouth right. is. For sure. Put the age statements. Tell them how much it is, but I like it. I like it. I dig that. So, Bo, what you think, bro? Man, I, I think this is super solid, man. Like, yeah. uh, first of all, let me just say this, man. Mm-hmm. Alan Henderson, you know how mad I used to get watching Michigan basketball <laughs> games back in the day? Rebound by Alan Henderson. <laughs> yeah, and, uh, yeah. Like, he was balling in Indiana. And yeah, I was like, was somebody take yeah. this nigga? And, 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 like, hey, his fro was always on point, though. On point. He had Steve Harvey's fro. Was always on point. Yeah. He had the Steve Harvey jersey. Yeah, solid. But, he uh, had a weird too, no, he was, a, you know, he, he's just like this bourbon, man. He was a solid ass basketball player. Obviously, he played in the league and whatnot. You know, just just, just solid player, right? And same thing with this bourbon, like you know. I mean, honestly, nothing jumps off at the off the page at me, right? You know, like it's, you know, uh, uh, you know, some kind of. You know, next level. Yeah, it's not a phenomenon. Right? Right? Yeah, oh, right? It's definitely <laughs> a it's lot good. better than a lot of the bullshit that's out there right now. That's um, factual. That's yeah. factual. I would definitely give it. I would say three and a half black power fish. You know, I, I, I kind of dig it. I, I, I would revisit it again. For sure. I, I would buy a bottle or two maybe. You know, for one, just to support old boy. Mm-hmm. But uh, for two, Actually, I, I like it. Yeah, for sure. And I, I'm on that same boat. And at the Taste of Black Spirit, it's cool conversation. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I enjoy talking to him. So, for sure. You know, that's what's so, up. Yeah. And, that, and that's, a lot of times, that's the thing, though, right? Like, actually identifying with, with these people who are selling the spirits. Because mm-hmm. oftentimes, you get a you know, you know get a celebrity that endorses or has some kind of spirit. There's a disconnection there. Yeah. You know, like, you can't really connect with that person. I think like, that's a lot different with... The like Casamigos. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, it's weird, because I don't normally look up to people. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm looking down at people. Yeah. I had to look up. Like, yeah, he's like, he like, he he's like 613. Yeah, yeah, he's 613. He's up there. <laughs> so on that note, I want to I want to say this too though. Um, obviously, is a is a black owned spirit, so that that always counts as one thing for me. But uh, the design of the bottle, actually, I like the I like the label. Yeah, it's dope. It's a thing. It's dope. So again, if you if you're purchasing this for your bar, not only is it a good conversation piece once you actually get into the story of Birdie Brown, but then is that it actually actually looks attractive so I actually like the label um, on that note I am going to give it a 3.5 and then I'm gonna tell you why though uh, reason being is because again um, heavy cedar sometimes reminds me of, of scotch and I know we talk about this all the time I, I don't really like scotch but then I keep drinking the shit but <laughs> I don't really like it but now that I've got something that's got a Man, nice you like mix, it bro you just be bro. you like it I've got a nice mix of cedar vanilla and cocoa and I think it's a great combination and it works well and possibly for me I think that I'm liking this as much as I do because it's 90 it's 90 proof I think at a hundred proof with this combination I probably it might be too much like it might taste more like scotch so I think this at the 90 is just right for me so I, I kind of like it so yeah I'm gonna give it a 3.5 on that one uh, again check out the uh, description below so you can check them out this Friday night 
from 5 to 11, probably same time. <laughs> but you'll see all the, the uh, details in the description, though. Again, shout out to the uh, Taste of Black Spirits events. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, that's where we're at with it. So you got three, and we both got three of them. Right? Yep. Mm-hmm. Got you. Um, I did want to, there, there's one other thing, too, though, about those long legs, right? <laughs> what a. <laughs> I'm always curious about this though, right? Because I always do check it out. I kind of swirl it around to see how, you know, how oily it is. Like, what contributes to that? Because I've, I've never really known, like, what contributes to the oiliness or, like, the long legs. So, a number of factors. You know, it's ingredients. Yeah. It's how you got to store it. It's how, how, how old it is. You know, barrel. The barrel. The barrel. Yeah, it's okay. a number of ingredients. I mean, uh, uh, factors. Yeah. So, for the legs to be this long on three years, it's kind of it's surprising. That means it's, it's surprising. surprising. Yeah. surprising. But that's why I said this is a winter. Uh, gotcha. Sip instead of a summer sip because it is a heavier feel to it. Mm-hmm. For sure. Yeah, yeah. Much heavier. I agree okay. with that. I got it. So I think we're all in agreement. Like said, for three years, man, that's, that's yeah, pretty that's, good. I'm impressed. Yeah. Right. Three years. Right. For three years. three years, you usually don't even want to touch it. Right? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> right. I'd rather you not right. tell me. <laughs> I'd rather you He's not tell me. <laughs> You'd be surprised, but yeah. <laughs> right. It's for three years. So yeah, I think we're all in agreement that this is a, a good choice. Of course, everyone's palate is different, so we do suggest that you give it a shot on your own. Um, I I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't add anything to it though. So that's one thing we didn't mention. I don't think we said anything about it. Maybe, maybe like it for me, maybe a cube of ice. Cube of ice, and, and that's a maybe. Yeah. Typically, I'm just gonna have a neat, like like right. we just had. Just like we had it. Okay. So. Well, on that note, you already seen what it is, man. This is Birdie Brown. This is the wheat whiskey. All right, so next we're going to move on to uh, plain hooch. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so we're not even going to pause for that. I'm about to just drink this. I'm going to edit this one because i got to watch this. <laughs> <laughs> right. got to edit this one. got to edit this one. <laughs> All right, so we've uh, we've seen what the uh, what the wheat mash was like, right? So now we're moving over to the plain hooch. All right, so this is still Birdie Brown, uh, still same Henderson Spears group. Um, I'm always, I don't ever understand this, right? Because I, I've seen the, the plain hooch before. So this is like this is like moonshine for real, right? Yeah. Cause I've seen a uh, Buffalo Trace, like some clear Buffalo okay. tra- Trace. So like that was the only time I actually seen like a a clear like. I, so what is it? It's the new make. So okay. when they first put it through the distilling process before they put it in the barrel. Right. So that's what, so this that's is what it looks like. Yeah. I got you. All right, so playing who's this one is 100 proof, though. 100 proof. All right, so this is going to be a lot higher than the other one. Um, without... Without the color, I'm interested to see what it's what it's like. <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking it's go because like when, when I think about moonshine, I think about like when my, my old man used to go down to Mississippi and get like that show enough backwoods yeah, moonshine. That, that shit like 180 proof. Yeah, right. <laughs> that shit down near pure alcohol. No, exactly <laughs> for sure. So we're gonna take this out to see what's going on. You, what was you okay, so there's no corn in this. It's oats, wheat, and barley. Really? No corn. So that's why it's a, uh, the first one was a whiskey instead of it being a bourbon. Gotcha. Okay. Because there's no corn in it. Gotcha. And with the uh, with bourbons, you have to have a majority corn in the mash bill. To be a bourbon. In order right. to be a bourbon. So that's gotcha. why it's a whiskey okay. instead of a... I got you. Yeah, so there's no corn at all in this. Hmm. Huh. I'm curious to see what this is about. Right. Like. Let's, uh, let's check out the cork on this one. Pause for the cork. Okay. All right. They obviously invested in their court game. <laughs> right. Getting them good bottles. So first of all, this is looking like 100% Everclear. I fuck yeah, Everclear. don't leave this out at the house because somebody thinks it's some water. Whew, I'm going I'm to take a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Oh, oh. oh, yeah. It smells like moonshine. Oh, yeah. Like hella moonshine. This is, they just took it out mm. the steel. Didn't like, cut it with anything, nothing. I don't yeah. smell. <laughs> I don't smell any sweetness. I smell the oatmeal. No. I smell yeah, the oatmeal. Yeah, it's the smell of oatmeal. It smells like you just opened up some Quaker Oats. Yeah. I, I, I just, kind of, maybe, yeah, yeah. It does. It's definitely. overpowering for me. It's yeah. almost, again, it's got a brown sugar to it, also. Okay. Kind of, I, oats for sure. Oatmeal with the brown yeah. sugar. I, I taste. I smell both. It's definitely not moonshine. Because that moonshine would get your ass right away. Oh, really? Put you right in the grill. Yeah. Mm. It's not bad. It's not bad. Like, so, so this is the thing. On the taste, is there's definitely something sweet that I didn't smell on the nose. And I'm not sure what it is. Maybe it's brown sugar. It's like brown sugar for me. Yeah, be, yeah. Definitely. Maybe it's brown sugar. It's I'm sitting be. down at breakfast eating some oatmeal right now. Mm-hmm. Mm. I, I'm not 
that's not a knock on it. Yeah, yeah. no, nah, for sure. That's just the one thing that's prominent in it. I actually, all right, so look, I actually like it, right? Because of that, though, I think that this this is a, a, a different kind of sweetness for me. Normally, I'm with the vanilla and the cocoa, but this is something a little different. And I, I keep trying to compare it to brown sugar, but I don't know if it's, I don't even know if that's it. It's something though, but definitely the the oats, the oats is on the nose is overpowering. Mm-hmm. So now I now I just I taste it. I feel like I'm just eating a handful of oatmeal with something in it though. You say it's brown sugar. To me, it's brown sugar. It's what you say on the sweet? Got that? I, I didn't really. I mean, there's some sweetness there. Yeah. I I really can't. I really can't decipher what it is, honestly, man. Yeah. Um, it's got, it's got a nice taste to it, you know. It's an interesting flavor profile. Taste. Yeah, it's interesting. It's okay, you know. Eh. What do you think about it, though? Now, on their website, they offer of several um, mixed drinks, some mm-hmm. cocktails, and they put the recipes on there. I could definitely see yeah. that. So, I could using, see that. using this. Oh, yeah, yeah they make this with some agave. You know what I mean? That's what, you know, you know, you know what so, I mean? agave has some sweetness yeah, to it. Yeah, yeah it mm-hmm. does. Yeah, so agave is what they normally use in tequila or whatever. Right. It, it, you know what? I can, I can see that. I can see that, but it doesn't mention agave in there. No, 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 no. But I can, I can definitely see that though, because it does have that kind of. And maybe that's just that kind of like that initial bite, like yeah, tequila kind of like tequila. Yeah. Like that, yeah. A little bit. So you talk about that breakfast sip. This is it. The breakfast sip. Like, I'm having breakfast. Oh, sweet yeah. barley. <laughs> so what you think about it though? But what you say, man? Oh, um, this, you... this is okay. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm not a big fan of the plain hooch. Mm-hmm. Um, I am a fan of, 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 of the, uh, the, the, the whiskey, whiskey. Yeah. but the plain hooch, mm-hmm. it's okay. Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> I give it, I, I'd give it two and a half black power fish. You know, I don't think, I don't think I'd visit, revisit it again or anything like okay. that. You know, um, not really for me. And, I'm having a hard time mentally getting over that it's it's clear. That's clear. You know what I mean? That might that <laughs> might be a part of it. That you really know, might be a part of that's it. That's honestly a lot of what it is. I'm looking yeah. at it like, mm, like what is it? Mm, you know? So, yeah. yeah. All right. What you what you say? I'm gonna give it a solid three again because yeah. I I know it's new make. Mm-hmm. I know it's. it's the oats come through. The fact that the it's not corn is totally different match than what we normally deal mm-hmm. with. I'm gonna give it a solid three. I mean, yeah. Especially if you're gonna mix this into anything. With the mix, with the mix, I can definitely see yeah. that. I'll be and if you don't have you a couple mixtures, yeah, yeah. if you don't want tequila, this is the way to go. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because and it's funny that you mentioned the agave because this it does remind me of tequila, or at least some kind of moonshine that is reminiscent of tequila. Plus, you ever had the tequila was a uh, reposado or whatever? Yeah, reposado. Yeah. It's got that little sweetness. Right. To yeah, it, it kind of right. reminds me of that a little bit. I can yeah. see that. I can see it now. And, and I'm gonna tell you what's different about this too like I'm, I'm actually going to uh only on the on the strength of the other week like i'm gonna give it a 2.5 as well um but i'm gonna tell you what's different about this plain hooch though that i don't do with any other bourbon or whiskey i'll be willing to take shots with this <laughs> like i think because it's so it, it keeps reminding me of tequila i think i'm gonna take shots of it it's because it's clear though I, I think it's like you said i think visually mm-hmm. It's really yeah. throwing me off. So this is a mental thing instead of I think so. For like me, it is anyway. Yeah. Mind, I get it. <laughs> and, and just off the off the nose profile, though, it's it smells like but almost know like tequila. This started off one and it ends up being this. Right. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm I'm kind of enjoying the, the process of mm-hmm. tasting gotcha. the first one, mm-hmm. and then now we know exactly what it started off. Right. As. That's right. kind of cool. The little journey. That is that, that is that is cool. That, you and know, it's, that, it's cool. a mellow hundred though. Yeah. It's yeah. A yeah. Mellow yeah. Hundred. The fruit's not a problem at all. Yeah. It's a mellow hundred for sure. But. I'm taking shots though. Like with this, dude, this is this is a party starter. Shots for everybody. <laughs> What's the price point on this one? Do we know? Um, no, I didn't check that one either. Okay. So, um, I think that what would change? Cause I'm at a 2.5 now. As long as it's not more than, like, as long as they, I don't want to pay more than 50 for either one. I mean, Correct. Honestly, yeah, you know what I'm saying. Um, on the strength of it being 100 proof, I'm guessing that it's, it'll probably be around that area. Um, even if it's a little less expensive, I'll be cool with that. Um, but again, I, it's funny that Bo mentioned it, but I, I'm really feeling like that though. Visually, I think I'm just, <laughs> I'm having a hard time. As soon as I look at it off rip, I'm thinking, I'm thinking vodka or tequila. 
and then I smell it, and I'm like, oh shit, it's 1800. Right. Like, it's, I'm thinking 1800, like off oh, rip. I mean, a lot, a lot better than 1800. Oh yeah, it was definitely a lot better yeah. than 1800. <laughs> Not that, but uh, the price point looks like anywhere from 40 to 48 bucks. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Doable. Doable. Definitely doable. doable. Yeah, it's doable. So yeah, I, I say so. You got a three. Three. You got a three, and then two, two point five. Uh, still, I think an excellent choice for either one. Um, again, I, I think for me at least, if I have to choose between the two, I definitely would. Uh, enjoy the uh, the whiskey more so. Um, either one or both, I'll actually still have on the bar. Uh, interesting story behind you know behind Birdie Brown, and then both labels are are actually still good conversation uh, pieces. Oh yeah, I'm gonna buy both bottles just because. Yeah, just know, because, yeah. yeah so mm-hmm. again, uh, solid choices by uh, Henderson Spirits. Uh, he obviously got some more, some other things too. I know the Bullocks is, is there. Yeah, too, the I Bullocks, believe. Yeah. Now Bullocks is good, but like it's basically old fashioned. So, <laughs> so it's flavored. <laughs> Whiskey, so. It's flavored whiskey. Yeah. What about availability? Is this? Have you guys seen it a lot of places or whatnot? Because I, I haven't seen a lot of places. I'm sure I've seen it, it but I haven't Michigan. really been looking for it. So you know when I mean? we did so. talk to Alan Henderson, he said that Michigan they were having an issue, or they were trying to get it up into Michigan now. Mm-hmm. But you know, Michigan is weird when well, it comes so to so much stuff. Uh, yeah, to different uh, distilleries. So, yeah. uh, but it's definitely in Indianapolis uh, mm-hmm. or Indiana and Kentucky. I believe it's available okay. in the local area. And I think Illinois, if I saw the map, if I remember okay. the map correctly. Okay. But they were having issues trying to get into Michigan. Michigan is Michigan, always yeah, a problem. Yeah, they just yeah. push everybody out. Of <laughs> Say they want to make no money. Right. I don't know what that is. All right, so you've heard it here first. We went through uh, the, the wheat whiskey and the uh, plain hooch. Uh, both are, are great ideas. Make sure that you do uh, check them out. Uh, we are actually, uh, I think all three of us are preferring the wheat whiskey. And again, I, I know I said this a few times already, but but I think visually, it is just throwing me off. <laughs> it's, just, it's literally just throwing me off. Um, still good, though, and surprisingly mellow for 100, 100 proof. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah, I, I like it, though. Uh, we're going to continue to drink, <laughs> but we will definitely see you guys this Friday at the Black Spirits event uh, at the address listed below, because right now we're drinking, and I, I don't know what the address is, so you can read it <laughs> in the details below, all right? Uh, that's it. So we'll see you guys next week till the next time you already know what it is bbw that's beards bourbon whiskey the podcast got my man angry principal in the building drink what you like how you like got my man bo holding it down ross <laughs> all at me right come to the event the event bro i say y'all and of course man it's your boy q lewis holding it down live from the 48205 man peace out y'all